Obesity is an epidemic that people all around the country are fighting, and we have Linda Wagner here. You call yourself an obesity survivor. Yes. Why do you call yourself an obesity survivor? Well, uh, at one point in my life, I had blossomed up to well over 430 pounds, and I knew I was heading for going below the ground instead of being on top of the ground. So I had gastric bypass surgery, and it was wonderful, and it was a success until about five and a half years ago, which the statistics show that most people will start to gain the weight back within five years. I made it five and a half years and I put on a little over 100 pounds. And I said, that's it, it's gotta go. And what happened, why, is the, why the five year mark? You know, I'll tell you something. And I find that with most people I know that, that deal with obesity, which is better than 62% of the country, um, the truth is, is that we're not really dealing with food. We're dealing with the relationship of how we use food to overcome other issues in life. Most of us are emotional eaters, stress eaters, bored eaters. You know, we get, we get sick and tired and stressed at the end of the day. We want a nice hot comfort meal. And when you have developed a relationship with food that is not proactive to your best interests, it's going to steer you in the wrong way. We want to use food for pleasure, but only to a certain limit. Do you realize if you're, let's say, if you're overeating or using it, um, you're having an unhealthy relationship with your food, do you realize it at the moment or is it after? Oh, no. It's like that little angel and, and devil demon on each shoulder going, don't do it. You're doing so good. Come on. You can get back to where you were. You can be that nice, thin, svelte woman and have all that energy and soar like an eagle. And then the other one's going, shut up. Talk to me later. <laughs> Well, and, and you have a book, um, Get Me Out of This Fat Suit, Confessions of a True Fatty. Yes. Um, why do you say true fatty? Because I think that if most people that you talk to that love to eat and that have dealt with being overweight most of their lives, as I have, we have stashes. And I don't care if you're 110 pounds or if you're 500 pounds. We all have those secret little stashes of things that we hide away when we want that little treat or that little something to get us through a bad time. And so well, I thought, what's different now when you know you're you're trying to get back on track and, and lose the weight again? What's different now? It's a it's a real understanding of what I'm all about. It's that moment where I know why. Before when I before I had gastric bypass, I'd ask myself, why should I do gastric bypass if I'm gonna revert to the old habits? But now I understand the why. What why? emotions. It's, I deal with everything in life. I'm, I'm a high energy, high powered person. My mother says to me I should be 110 pounds. I don't usually sit, but it's the emotions. It's the stresses of life and the first thing I want to do is eat. And so I was fortunate to hook up with Aaron Snyder who wrote the book NewDiabetesRx.com and uh, new diabetes, the New Diabetes Prescription and has NewDiabetesRx.com. And his program breaks it down step by step by step you're giving up small changes for huge results okay. yeah well we wish you the best of luck I, I know it's it, you know you're changing everything about your lifestyle so we wish you the best of luck thank as you. you go through this thank process. you for having me thank you for sharing your story it's a pleasure we'll be back with more every way woman